What's going on everyone? It's Greg back again with some more heroic expedition and today we're going to go over the new chapter in the illusionary dreamland sea of danger before we get into that thank you guys for all the support if you can go ahead and smash that like button put a comment down below and subscribe if you're not subscribed and that will help me out tremendously in the youtube algorithm so we got our patch today which means we have the new chapter sea of danger as you can see i have completed it just so i can get a feel for it and try to make this video as short and to the point as possible so let's go ahead and get into it now uh, one key important piece in this uh, chapter is it would be very helpful if you have a you know decently leveled sylvia or you know some ocean hero that you focused on so that you can kind of get through this quickly and easily the reason why i say that is you do are supposed to fight the final boss with just ocean and also you will see here if i go in here my reset confirm we're gonna go back in start and as you can see here there's this message you know telling you about you know the area and then what's going to happen is they're going to tell you that you know we're in the ocean we're deep in the ocean and we can't hold our breath for more than 25 minutes i'm sorry i know that's a little bit cut off i actually have the screen adjusted for you know to be able to make it a little bit bigger you can barely see what's on there um this one kind of cuts off just a little bit sea dog told me that you can breathe as long as you find some special bubbles and watch out for the sea urchin traps as they will burst those special oxygen bubbles now that everything is ready we should hit the road all right so there you go these bubbles up here will give you extra time as you can see there's one right there on the screen i'm not going to grab that one because i don't i don't know what happens if you grab it while your your bar up here at the top is full so i don't want to grab that so here's what i did i just went and went ahead and went straight to the left and i'm gonna go in the direction that i went so i started with this bottom right here Oh, I'm just sending Sylvia in. Actually, it really doesn't matter. Of course, we can't skip these. So we will watch them. Next time I'll bring all the heroes in, maybe go a little quicker. Boom, boom. Now, Sylvia can definitely solo all this. So we get two of those little pearl things. And what those do is you use them to get rid of these, these coral things. So let's keep moving here. And then we're going to fight this boss. Now, so we stepped on an urchin. I'm not really sure exactly what's, you know, I, I can't see that visually. So I don't know if it's random, but I think it was the same exact spot I stepped in last time. So, you know, you can expect one there. I'm not sure if you go ahead and use your pearl on that first one, if that will help you. But you can get through, even if you hit all the little trap things, I, I was able to get through this. So let's just keep on rolling. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my other heroes and we will see how this goes. Uh, I don't think I, I don't need the defense. I'm just going to go ahead and bring in Lee. All right, so I'm going to try to show you guys where all the chests are. And the first one here is down to the bottom left. And this is going to be the path that I took when I played the mode for the first time. All right. So we'll just do front heroes fortitude. I don't really care about these because I don't need them, but you can take a better look at them. So obviously, we don't need to go in this little path right here. So we're going to go here. We're going to go ahead and take out this guy. And I believe he only gives you access to the little uh, pool in here. Let's see. Oh, OK, so what happens is you beat these little boss guys and you can choose if you want a pearl or you want the secret. I believe if you choose the pearl or the secret, you don't need to, you know, do anything in terms of fighting him again. But if you say you want both, he's going to tell you you're greedy and you got to fight him again. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that real quick. So I do um, fight both. I want both and we're gonna fight them again. Now, the question is, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the information you need so you don't necessarily need the notes. I don't know if you necessarily have to grab them. So we're gonna see what happens if I don't grab them and that might screw up my video plans, but let's go ahead and see. All right, so now we're gonna get the note and that goes to our notebook. But since you're watching this, you're gonna figure it out anyway. So down here, you can get a heal if you need it. Um, I don't need it. So then we come over here and was it here? Oh, I think I used a pearl here. So these purples will get rid of these things. And there was a chest up in this area. So you want to get that chest. Then next up, I went ahead and moved. Which way did that go? 
I believe I went this way. Yeah, I think I hit that urchin. I don't think there's any way to see them. So I use a pearl here. Again, there's multiple paths you can take. You don't necessarily have to follow this, but you'll at least know where everything is. Use another pearl. Let's see, we can see in the back. Okay, so I think I might've ran out of pearls. Real quick, now that I'm down on the breathing, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this bubble. Well, boom. Come on. And then we're going to go to the left here. Get the active off real quick. Let's keep it moving. Uh, I don't really care at this point. All right. So now we're going to go down here. We're going to beat this guy. And I'm pretty sure that this is where the second chest is that I got right behind this guy. So here we go. And we got two more pearls and the chest was in this spot up here. All right. So now we're going to go here and get this bubble and we'll go ahead and fight this guy. Wish we could skip these battles. All right, and this one's gonna offer you the secret or pearl. Uh, I usually did the secret and stopped getting the pearls, but here I'm gonna grab the pearls just so we can make sure we can still finish it. And then you have a heal here. Uh, yeah, there was no chest there, it was a heal. The chest was right above me here. And then we walk back here. We're gonna go up and fight this guy. Now, once I show you everything, there might be an easy way to do this. You might need to talk to the statue first and maybe do some of the stuff while you walk around. I'm not sure. I'm just showing you the way I know because I was already did this. Let's get some block. Now you have your shop here and you know, this is one time purchase. Um, I don't, you know, I went ahead and purchased these upgrade things, not necessarily hundred percent worth it, but I'll take anything to upgrade my armor. And then I bought the 10 advanced summon stones for 2000 gems. And I bought the five summon stones for 5 million gold. So those are your options there on the shop. So I came down here and we have this thing right here. So we're gonna fight this guy. All right. Now there's three of these things on the map. And when you go up to them, only one of these buttons is going to work, but it doesn't matter if you hit the wrong one. I can't remember if this one was touch. No. Press. No. This one's smash. And it's going to open up, start opening up this little bridge. All right. Then right here you have a chest. So in here was a chest. So here you got heals in a bubble, which is you have to two more enemies to fight. You can just choose to fight one of them. You don't have to do them both. We'll go ahead and fight this real quick and we'll get that bubble. So the question is, what happens if you lose your breathing? Basically all your heroes die except ocean heroes. So all I have left is Sylvia, which I'm 99% sure you're only supposed to use ocean on the last boss. And my air lasted till I got to the last boss, like just barely. So I don't know how many traps I hit. I'm, I'm assuming I hit most of them. So up here, this water, this edge right here next to the water is going to be another chest. And as you can see, you use like that trap to get to that. I, I don't know if there's any way to avoid those, but they're not a huge deal. If you have a good ocean hero, you should be good either way. All right, then we're gonna go this way. Uh, what did we have here? I can't remember. I don't know if there was, I don't think there was anything sticking in this spot, but from here I went up and then I went and fought this guy. And then we're going to go up. I believe you can take either path here or no. 
Yeah, I think this is kind of like a little circle path. So you got the heel there if you need it. I believe then top middle near the heel. Yeah, there is a chest back here in in here where behind that coral. So you'd have to unlock this one. I'll go ahead and do it real quick. So you unlock this one, use the pearl, and boom, you go back there and grab that chest. Uh, these guys, you know, that guy's optional at this point. I don't think I need to fight him to be able to show you guys the rest of this. I'm going to make my way back around. All right. So then I'm going to come down here and get this bubble. If you need to, you can use a pearl there and get to that healing thing. But we definitely have to use a pearl here and open this. And I think this one is the press. Yes. There we go. Now, I honestly do not remember if there was a chest in there or what was in there. I'm not sure. You don't necessarily have to go in there, but if you, if you if, if you're not hurting for uh, heroes or anything like that, just go ahead and explore all the areas. All right, so here we're going to come here and fight this guy. Wham, bam. Uh, I'm going to avoid that guy for now. Get the oxygen. And then this is the third little box puzzle thingy looking thing that you have to do. All right, so we're gonna go here and this one should be touch. There we go. Now, let me try to remember what was up here. I believe there was a chest where you fought this guy and then you also have the option of um, going to get that bubble. So let's just go up here real quick. I believe there was a chest behind this guy. And I'm sorry, I don't 100% remember where all the chests are, but when you walk around, you, you should be able to walk around the whole area and see where they are. And then we come up here and I'm pretty sure there's something behind here. This pearl. Boom. We'll do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a pearl here and get this other oxygen. You fight enough guys, you're going to have enough pearls. And come back down. I guess I didn't actually have to fight that. Of course, I lost some time there all right now we're going to come down to the bottom i believe the easiest thing is i don't remember if you have to talk to this guy or not we'll go ahead and talk to him real quick we're asking him about the gems and da, da, da. oh he gives us a free pearl you should gonna start him early on now i'm gonna go ahead and do this part before i go to that last area we're gonna go to the statue we're gonna hit rotate and you're gonna turn left and then we're going to turn left again. I think you can just turn right once. I'm not sure, but I know this works. Get stuck. And then we're going to get the little mermaid. So now we're going to go ahead and come up here. I'm going to unlock this. Use Pearl. I believe there might be a chest back here. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sorry. I was writing them down, but then I guess I forgot to write down the last few. But as long as you walk this whole area, you'll find all the chests. It's not a big deal. All right, come up. You can use your heel there. We're gonna use another pearl, and we're gonna talk to the mermaid, and she is going to spawn these little things. We're gonna go one. Oh no, she's gonna spawn that gem, and then we're gonna go get that. All right, so up here, I think there may be a chest behind this big purple guy. We'll go ahead and fight him real quick. Make sure I have enough of the pearls, which I already think I have plenty. So as you see, you don't necessarily have to fight everybody. Um, if you're having trouble, then maybe go for a less number of characters. You definitely have to open those three boxes and you have to do like the push, the touch and the smash. And then you have to turn the statue to access this lady. 
and you can you know finish off the big chest oh, i believe the big chest was up here or one of the big chests and then the other big chest of course is up here behind the statue so now we're gonna go get the thing off the island come on guy all right we're gonna click right here see how fast we can get there I believe I hit less traps this time, or I was just less lazy. We're going to go ahead and use a pearl. Get through here. And we're going to take it. And then, again, you come up here and fight. There is at least, I believe, uh, one, one chest up here. I can't remember. I think we might have to come back. I think we might have to come back to do the thing anyway, so we'll come back to that. We're going to go put this little thing that we just got into the statue. And we got the thing that's the shape. We're going to go ahead and put it in. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. She's going to go one, two, three. Yeah, one of the symbols comes up there. Four, and five. Five symbols. Now, you have to make sure you hit these symbols in the correct order. You have to start with the boat. Boom. No route available. Oh, okay. We'll come up here. We're going to use our pearl. Boom. Grab the boat. And we're going to lose a little time there. Grab the boat. Next up is the starfish. Boom. I do like you at least press and then they'll walk all the way there by themselves. It makes it a little bit easier. As you can see, I think you can do this earlier on and then get it as you go explore the stages. It's still kind of easy just to walk around. Like, like I said, there's probably a few different ways to do this, but next we have to get the fish, which means we're going to come here. So this is probably a little bit longer way, but not too much longer. And then you already have everything clear. You can see everything right off the bat. But if you want to tweak this, go right on ahead. I just want to make sure I show you how to get through it completely. Let's fight them. Come up here, grab the fish. Now, I believe there's also a chest back behind this guy. We're not going to worry about that right now. If you're trying to clear it, you go ahead and grab that. And then we want the snail. Uh, where was the snail? There is a the snail. All right, and finally, we're going to do the trident, which is back over here. All right, then the statue comes alive. And then we're gonna come back here. This is actually where I was running out of time. As you can see here, if you know what you're doing, not like looking off doing other things while you're doing this, you, you don't have to worry about losing the time. You grab them bubbles. All right, so now we have to fight this and I am pretty sure you have to bring in ocean only in here to be able to do it. So I'm just gonna do it with Sylvia. But I will say I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe that's what folks are saying. I did not try to go in here with more heroes. But it is pretty easy to beat. So there we go. And now the boss won't take too long to knock out. Boom, boom, boom. And then the coral disappears around the last big chest and you can get the last big chest and by then if you got the other chest while you were walking around then you are done with the mode so there you go i didn't even get the all the, the secret messages so you don't necessarily have to talk to all those enemies to get those secret messages that's just if you were trying to get through it without any help now you know exactly which things you need to hit 
you know, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. You got the boat, then the starfish, then the fish, and then the snail, and then the trident. Once you get those, beat the boss with ocean only, and you can get the final prize. So there you have it. That is the sea of danger. Hope that helps. And I know that I did not do a, you know, any kind of walkthrough on the molten cavern. I'll probably do that at some point and make a little playlist of the whole illusionary dreamland just so that we do have it out there. But there are some other videos out there if you need to get through the molten cavern. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or any requests, put them down in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.